19 meters per second. I will keep the helicopter there and turn the radio off. Okay, radio off. Hey, who is, who is in this car and what are they doing? Manual mode, high speed control is my next favorite mode to fly. Which is very good, it's kind of coming like, you know, like that. 10 meters per second. So far, it has been really very reliable to fly around. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Alisha Mal here and welcome outdoors. Yes, look at this big smile. Lockdown is over. I'm very happy. I'm able to come out and test Yuxiang F09S, the Coast Guard version Black Hawk helicopter with GPS features outdoors. Thank you very much, first off, for your following the videos of FO9S from Yuxiang and your support towards my work. Thank you very much for forwarding your questions and the tests that you wanted me to perform on this. So in this video, Outdoors, I'm going to perform all those tests that you have asked and some that you didn't ask. All right, so a lot to do. Let's get to work. Grab your popcorns and coffee, sit back, relax, open the volume and enjoy the flights and all the tests of Yuxiang F09S. Okay, everything is good. Now I'm gonna take off in optical flow mode, outdoor testing of F09S from Yuxiang. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now let's say optical flow. All right. So I have seen other models uh, from Yuxiang when they test it, they don't do this up and down movement. After I uh, gave them the feedback about it, they have optimized the software. So this is gone from the production models. Mine is of course the very first model and it does this, okay? So I'm just gonna go a slightly higher and see if it still holds. Now it's much better. Like it's not doing that way up and down. Much more stable. Okay. And switching to GPS. There you go. Both optical flow and GPS mode. Okay, now flying in GPS position hold mode. This is the slow speed. And today I'm outside, so I don't worry about being on 19th floor and under it having 12, 19 floors. Two meters per second. This is a normal speed, okay? Controls looking super nice, mashallah. Very responsive, okay? Now I'm switching to high speed in GPS mode. So pass by. Turns are mashallah good. I'm getting about one moment, five meters per second. So helicopter is coming full forward, maximum five meters per second. People asked about uh, manual mode. So now it's in auto and GPS. If I switch in manual mode, it disengages GPS and optical flow. But it's always in, as you can see, 6G mode. So no matter what I do, once I leave the sticks, it will drift away, but it's always in 6G mode. And right now, I switch to low speed mode, and this is manual mode. Oh, already it's looking fast. 10 meters per second. 10 meters per second, coming forward. Five 
15 meters per second. That's low speed. High speed mode. Nineteen meters per second. Almost hit that tree, I think. <laughs> Nineteen meters per second. I believe I can do twenty or more if I keep it up that way. So in manual mode, it is really fast. However, it stays in, you know, 6G mode always. So beginners can still fly it. So there you go, all questions, answers regarding manual mode, auto mode and uh, GPS mode and uh, optical flow mode, speeds and controls. So manual mode, high speed control is my next favorite mode to fly this helicopter. Beautiful man, I'm getting dizzy now. <laughs> Super! Okay, I'm about to fall down. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so that was manual mode. Now, the last question is, will, will it activate RTH if I switch it to RTH in manual mode? So let's see what happens. Oh, hey, don't hit anywhere. Yes, it does activate RTH in manual mode as well. And it's coming back. Look at that. So the next thing I want to test is, let's uh, cancel RTH. The next thing I want to test is in GPS mode or uh, optical flow mode. It's not actually GPS mode because I'm, I'm gonna go farther and higher uh, due to those lights, okay? So what I'm gonna do is turn off the radio, okay? <laughs> so take a good look at the helicopter people right here. So I'm gonna, climb higher than this light right here and go forward hope it doesn't activate low battery RTH oh okay so it's in uh, you know fencing mode now due to low battery now before it activates low battery RTH I will keep the helicopter there and turn the radio off okay radio off there you go and helicopter is coming back so this is confirmed now if you lose signals or go out of control range your helicopter will come back and land see the radio is see the radio is off all right there you go it landed sweet so this is basically a very reliable helicopter right here now I'm gonna fly it a little bit more take off in manual mode and you know see until it activates low battery fail-safe auto return to home man sweet helicopter people look at that hmm what do you think? So far, it has been really very reliable to fly around. Now, if I'm very close to me and a battery is getting low, probably it shouldn't activate RTH, but just land. Man, I love flying it in manual mode, especially in high speed mode. <laughs> Nice, very nice, man. I like it. So for beginners, this helicopter is really one of the best choice right here because they don't have to learn to fly. They can immediately start flying it in GPS mode, or even indoors in optical flow hold mode. And you know, don't worry about crashing it because anything goes wrong, you leave the sticks, it will hold position you lost control, it went out of range, it went farther, you cannot see it, it will come back home and it also has a fencing 
on low battery. And what's more, yeah baby, you're also flying FPV on it. And I believe maybe you can find more powerful FPV system which works on 5 volts under the battery, that connector that supplies 5 volt. So if you can find, uh, okay, so as soon as battery is completely like on the third level, low battery warning, uh, normally it activates RTH, but if it's close, as I said, close by, it will not activate RTH, it will just land. So very nice. So yes, I was saying, you can always add a powerful FPV system under this battery right here. You have a connector, 5 volts, I believe, and it will give you better range. Or maybe just add a better antenna. So now the second battery, I'm going to fly FPV and see how it goes. Today I have brought my, you know, um, Skyzone FPV video goggles with the, you know, shield ORT patch antennas. All right, so now I'm gonna fly FPV. The VR recording started. This time I'll just keep the helicopter close to me. I didn't find the way to actually increase the, you know, power of the video transmitter. So I'm just gonna keep it close by now and fly FPV in this direction, maybe in the forward direction there was something really bothering hey who is who is in this car and what are they doing <clears throat> i am definitely bothering those lovebirds there so so far so good i'm able to go this far glitchy glitchy but when the helicopter comes back i don't know if i'm <laughs> watching towards the helicopter or not okay yeah i'm actually a human antenna tracker so this is how you fly fpv on this helicopter now if this goes behind me of course i have troubles so to say people you can fly fpv with it but you will need to basically, you know, keep it closer. So let me just switch some uh, mode on the, you know, goggle as well. Hold on. Band scan. We, let's try the L3. Okay, much better. Let's see if we are still recording. was still recording so I'm gonna record one more okay now I've changed the band let's see if I get any good result so this time I'll just keep it in GPS position hold mode <laughs> so how far I'm from myself just like 20 30 meters maybe So far so good now the glitches are starting so yes it's all about the FPV system and the antenna on the FPV system people so I'm able to go halfway in the stadium uh, football ground and without losing video this time so I'm gonna fly backward so you can see where I am and also because I'm sitting down if I'm standing maybe I have better results Okay, let me watch backside if I'm gonna hit something backside or not. See, last time I had very, very bad video here, but this time I'm able to go this far, almost all the way from this, you know, ground. Okay, RTH activated. So it's either low battery, cannot be low battery. It should be, it lost signals and activated RTH, which is very good. It's kind of coming like, you know, like that. <laughs> okay, back. Oh, nice, yes, that was fencing. So it came back to 20 meter. That's why it just stopped there. Right, very nice. So when the battery is getting low, it just comes back to 20 meters fencing limit that it has set. And 
waits for you there. This is very nice. So people, this is really a very reliable helicopter. I can tell you that it is reliable to fly FPV without worries. It will come back to you anytime you want and you are not going to lose your helicopter. So to say, we still need a better FPV system on this machine if you want to go farther. If you want to just stay this close and, you know, just fly around like a relaxing flight, this system is doing more than enough. Okay? Low voltage RTX. I hope it's not landing on my head. Nice. So there you go, people. I am happy. I have performed almost all the tests that you have asked. All right, people. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it has answered all the questions that you have asked. And still, if you have any more questions, if you want me to do any more tests on this helicopter, let me know in video comments. And don't forget to give this video a big thumb up. Stay subscribed to my channel. Hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications, please. Stay tuned for more videos, people. I'm going to enjoy flying this one now. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. There. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right.